Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I take another first look, this time at Lux Deluxe, which is releasing today on Steam. It's by Silly Soft Games, and it is very, very similar, you might notice, to Risk or World Domination, the classic board games that we all played when we grew up as children and little, little chitlins and whatnot. So let's get about killing off the world or dominating it. Now, it's been years since I played Risk. I really enjoyed the game. It was much slower paced than this. I played a few times and gotten crushed. So there's very, 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 very large possibilities that I will be murdered in many, many ways. Almost had all of Asia, had all but this spot, couldn't get it. Then Australia got taken over and it just murdered me. Had all of South America and then got crushed. So we'll see. We'll see. All right, so we're gonna go over here and drop four. We're going for Africa. Africa is ours. We're gonna go to the Congo here. And eventually, we should be able to break out and just do murder. And it's going to be sweet, sweet, nice. All right, it looks like it's going to be time for some fighting here. Oh, no. Orange just destroyed our souls there. Oh, man, this is already going terrible. There's, like, literally no way we're ever going to win. But it's okay. We're going to give it a shot anyway. All right. Hey, we were lucky enough to get that one. Sweet. And there we go. Hey, look at that. We got extra people. That's not really going to matter at all because of reasons. Okay. Um, I think we might be able to make a run. Oh, gosh. No. Seriously? We just lost like five or six in a row. Well, I think that's about it for us. Europe is going to be down. They're going to come crush us on this side. They're in the in North America as well. All right, we've taken Africa back over. I don't know that we've got enough. Oh, we do. Look at that. Playing to our own strengths a little bit there. But again, to what end? I guess is the is the big question. We are going to have to move our troops away from here. Because if we don't, I guess I can't fortify any further. Alright, well, that's that, I suppose. We shall end our turn, and there we go, we lost Africa. We've held South America, but yeah, that's going to go bye-bye real quick. Now they're going to lose. Yeah, we're pretty much done. There's no coming back from this. I told you guys, not great. Ideally, I always like to start, like, in Australia. If I had, like, a, a somewhat decent monop monopoly. But Africa is really hard to hold because if you look, there's so many different ways they can actually attack you. Uh, South America is not so bad to hold, but as you saw, they had to go up against the North American powerhouse. And as it stands right now, they are actually still winning, but that's because they took over Africa for a turn. I mean, it's been going back and forth. Right now, we're pretty much done. So, my only goal now is to just make as much chaotic nonsensicalness as possible. And hope we survive the fallout. Wow, I didn't actually expect purple to survive that much either. That's kind of impressive. All right, we have three cards. We're going to try to cash them all in, I hope. Actually, I don't think we can. We need to have a set of three or one of each, I believe. And right now we only have two, so that kind of hurts us a little bit. Just a tad. All right, well, I suppose we can, like I said, just be a nuisance at this point. Prolong our agony and death. I think that's going to be our only play here. Alright, well, they are fighting. We are holding. Alright, we can now cash in some cards. Yeah. We have a few troops. Now we can maybe run a little bit of a gauntlet on them. Assuming we're even slightly... Well, we're so unlucky. We are so incredibly unlucky. Yep, look at that. See? Can't even take over undefended countries. Our dice rolling abilities, not super powerful. Just saying. Well, as I stated previously, we're just going to sit here and try to keep... Well, their numbers are going down short of Black, who I don't know how they even got over there, but... Oh yeah, Black's going to run the gauntlet right now. And World Domination? Nope. Between Purple and Black, and... Black looks like they're doing really big work, and there it is! Lux Luther Killbot wins. No! Man versus machine? No contest. Well, there you have it, folks. I just got crushed. It was kind of sad. It was kind of sad. 
So there's different AI type things you can have added, different difficulty levels and all sorts of stuff. I can't show you the menu screen because it's in a different pattern or a different thing and it doesn't show up. It's not in the main game window. I guess we can just go to play next map, so we'll take a look at this. Whoa! Here we go. So look at this. There are several different maps and different campaigns and scenarios you can play out. I would probably like to change some of these, but eh, it is what it is. Alright, so we'll play a little bit more and have me get crushed once again, and then once I do that and die a horrible, horrible, agonizing death, we'll see where that puts us. So I'm going to start in the top left up here. That's where I'm pretty much focusing all my troops. I'm going to try to murder my way through, and if I'm lucky, which I hope I am, I'll be able to take over this little baby island here and maybe get myself a small advantage. Man, they're just going to let me keep pumping troops in here, huh? Are we ever going to fight? Looks like we're getting close to fighting. Alright, here we go. The battle has begun. And orange is looking pretty strong. White's looking real strong, but it's our turn. And we just got a tremendously huge amount. Okay. And we'll come here. Okay, so what do we want to do now? I don't think I want to fortify just yet. I can't move there though. See, so that's the pro. Well, I guess I do have to fortify, don't I? Alright, so we're going to fortify. Um, actually, no. I want them all over here. And I can't fortify from here. Oh no, I made a terrible mistake. Oh, uh, it's okay. We might survive it because they don't have anyone here yet, but we'll see. I made the mistake of fortifying from here this way instead of down, so that's why I don't fault it was a misclick. Alright, Orange is going to make uh, some headway. Not too much though, ironically enough. I was actually expecting significantly larger resistance out of them. Alright, well, it looks like I'm doing slightly better on this map than I was in the previous one. Can we attack across the water? Thank you. That was way more challenging than I had any right to be. There we go. Alright. Alright, I think the play now is to take that over. And to probably fortify. That's not what I wanted to do. Alright, made mistakes again. Apparently I don't understand how the fortifying works. You can only fortify from one spot one single time, so that makes sense. And then I clicked, I only wanted, well I wanted to see how many we had left, but I guess I, I transferred everything over instead of just a few. Uh, right clicking and left clicking does different things, and that's where I'm getting into issues. Also control and left clicking does something else as well. So it is what it is, I hope they stay within here and they don't try to come muscle in on my territory. They might though. Orange has the possibility of completely destroying me. Oh, we, no, I guess not. Alright, we're going to go with 17 there, we're going to go with 18 there, and just a few here. Alright, we're going to take this back over. And we'll throw a few there, and then we're going to put the bulk right back in here. And there we go, we're going to sit on that. And then I guess... We can attack from a few different angles here. And then maybe just hold it, we'll fortify, and... There we go. And then I like that, that's perfectly fine. Alright, hopefully that lets us hold, we'll see. I know it might not be the most exciting game to watch necessarily, folks, but getting the word out about games like this, I mean, I always enjoyed Risk. I know my buddy Mutanat, he's a pretty big fan of all things Risk as well, so he would totally be all about this game. Just like I, I don't know, I'm probably going to spend quite a bit of time playing this as well. This is one of those things I can play on my own time, 
It only takes 10, 20 minutes tops to actually enjoy, so I can totally get behind this. And we're playing it a little bit safer now. There's no global Passover at this point either, so that makes us a little bit stronger than we were before. Alright, so what I'd like to do is move out nice and slowly. Um... Let's see, I want to be careful here. I don't want to overdo it. Alright, so if we attack... We're not getting real lucky with the dice rolls here, though. There we go. And that looks like it's time for us to fortify. Let's check our three cards. Oh, weird. We have, um... We have bowmen and knights, it looks like, which is pretty interesting. We'll go and we'll fortify up here. And I think we'll be okay. I'm going to fortify a little bit this way. And then we're going to go just a tad bit there, and then we're going to hold it. So, sure, he's got seven. He might be able to take over some of this, but we're kind of holding relatively strong. And when our cards come through, hopefully it's going to be enough to help us. We'll see. Black might be a real big contender, especially considering they're going to get to move, well, not that quickly. Ooh, we can cash in our cards. Nice. Oh, we have a tremendous amount. We're going to go make a, ro a run on black because we got we really got to hurt them badly. So that's going to be a little bit of it. So I think first things first, we're going to come over here. Seriously? There we go. And then we're going to keep everything there. We're going to come over this way. Wow, we are ridiculously unlucky. Alright, we're going to hold that. And I guess there's not really much else for us to do at this point. Alright, we can fortify from here. And slowly but surely... Why didn't he move with it? Hmm. Oh well, it is simply what it is, I suppose. There we go. A little bit of fortification. We have one card in reserve. Purple and white are still trying to battle. It's not looking good. Black is pretty powerful. We're going to have a pretty significant issue if we don't deal with them relatively soon. Okay, we're going to do that. And then we're going to have to really start trying to actually take this guy out because if we can't do it we're going to be having some significant issues really wow we are unlucky seriously wow we couldn't oh oh the rng how you troll me rng how you troll me all right but now it's actually going well for me all right, we're gonna hold it there, and then we're gonna I'm gonna control left click this one, and boom! Oh my gosh, that worked out so well. We got a decent amount of guys still remaining too. All right, so we're gonna hold. I think they get a lot more troops than we do. I feel like that is the that's the case right now. All right, going to try very very hard to actually get our troop to fortify. There we go. They fortified properly. Onward. To world domination. And no, I'm not very good at this. Wow, how did purple make a comeback? Oh, that's terrifying. Look at white over there. Or bl uh, black over there. White's almost totally gone. Purple came and did some nasty stuff to us. Definitely not fun. We do have three cards. We cannot cash them in, though I only see two. Oh, down there's a third. Okay. Well, it looks like... I'm probably going to have to make a run in here and take over these two up top. So I'm going to say that we're going to need quite a bit there. I'm also going to say that I need pretty much all the rest here. So with that being said, I think I'm going to go here, he I'm going to go here, 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 and then into that. And I hope it's enough. We'll see. 
gonna have to hold the line up here with him and I need to take over that's fine as long as he doesn't have it right now um, there we go we have all of Gaul now okay that's totally fine with me and perfect okay there we go we have Narbonesis something like that I don't know I'd actually never heard of that before but we'll we'll go there alright we're gonna go with all of them and it looks like we did pretty well there and we're gonna hold the line on this front as well I actually don't wanna attack stop it stop attacking it's totally fine alright so, if we can hold these spots, we'll be okay. There's 11 there, there's 8 here, there's 6, 7. So, I mean, we are still in kind of a messy situation. But not horribly so. I still think we're going to lose. I mean, 43 is a pretty massive army. Maybe if we get lucky with our next little bit in... Okay. Yeah, saw that coming. Man, he's still got the 45, too. Wow. Wow. Well, white has been totally eliminated. Orange is totally gone as well. And it looks like we can cash in our cards. We have a large amount of stuff we can still do. I think I'm just going to dump them all here and just attack from it. And we're just going to continue on the path to righteousness. Come on. There it is. Alright, and eventually... We're going to have to try to hold the line here, but again, I feel like we're fighting a losing battle at this point. I feel like we are fighting a very, very nastily lost battle. But we'll see. We'll see how this plays out. They have taken back over that. Well, we'll hold it. We'll hold the line and we'll see what's next. Alright, so purple has pushed in and annoyed us a little bit more. They've taken over southern Italy, and wow. Black is just rolling all over everything. Most of his troops are actually dispersed at this moment, though, so maybe there's a play we can still make. Maybe. Um, I think my best play is going to be to hold the line here. Focus quite a few of my troops there. And then everything else is going to go there. So we're going to hope that we can actually get through that. And we did. And it looks like we're holding Rome. We have Northern Italy now as well. We're going to try to hold that. Alright, let's see. What is the play here? There's nine, so they'll still be able to come back around here and do that, which is going to be mildly annoying, but I think it'll be okay for now. We won't be able to hold it forever. We should be able to take over these two territories, though. Okay. And... Black might have overdone it. Now, I don't know what the play is for this, though. Maybe go around the outskirts and then... See, this being here is the relatively large problem. Now yeah, we'll see. Okay, we're just going to keep rolling. Well, I say that, but my goodness, we just lost a lot. Alright, so there we go. We've kind of done a big circle. We didn't take over. Eh. Why not? If we can hold it, we can hold it. If not, well, so be it. All right, we're going to give it a shot. I mean, Black still has a tremendous amount. He can just drop it all right here and just roll over me or drop it all right here and just roll straight up. So we'll see. We'll see. A little bit more intense than I was expecting this time. All right, looks like Purple made a relatively big comeback. Kudos to them for that. And yeah, they did some serious work against Black. Black's coming back. And Black didn't go as far as I expected. Took over quite a bit still. Aw, oh, they did push up into our territories though. Aw. That's okay. Alright, we have three cards, but I don't think they're cash inable. Nope. 
It's unfortunate, but it is simply what it is. All right, so what's the play now? They are still well fortified over here. We still have this little nuisance area that we're gonna have to deal with. I should be able to take all of this over and still be fine. I mean, they have nothing here, so why don't we drop... What if I did like a, a sweep this way? I say I can't do that. If I did it this way, and I could end there, that wouldn't be terrible, but there's still the problem of that. And we still need to have troops up here to deal with the onslaught of what's coming our way. So, what I think I'm going to do... Huh. It's going to be interesting, folks. It's going to be a little bit interesting. I think I'll use this to attack here. I'll go here, I'll jump down to there maybe, and then come in down here, up here, 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 and then there. And then that should give me a little bit of defilade. Hopefully purple decides to continue to attack black. And I don't know, this is going to be a tough one. This is going to be a tough one. Alright, we're going to put 10 there. I'm going to have to take that over, so I'm going to need quite a large amount of uh, troops. Up here we'll, we'll go with 15 maybe. That should be well enough. And then we'll do the additional 10 here and that's it. So let's hope for the best. Okay, we're just going to do this right here. Alright, I don't like that spot, but it's okay. We're just going to have to hold it, I suppose. It was amazing to me that that was so difficult. Okay, so the plan is take over that and then have you come here then down here then over to there then down over, over, over and there. We have it all now. It's not great at all, but it is simply what it is. Okay, and we're going to fortify here. Oh, if you... Okay, so that's where I made the mistake. You don't want to right-click when fortifying, by the way, guys. It messes things up. Okay, where to go? I guess that's good. Alright, let's see what the next play is, folks. Purple's going to strike back. Did a little tiny bit of damage, but oh, man, black has so much area. Oh, yeah, 21 army right there. That's going to do some serious damage against us, and... It just crippled so much of what we controlled, and even with cards now... Oh, we do have a 50 army. We might be able to make a full run just like straight across the border here. We just gotta think about it, make sure it happens. If we go there, 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 there... There... We're gonna need two different armies, I think. Like 50 might be too much. in any one area. Oh, I could try to roll all the way across the bottom, too. I don't think that's worth it. Alright, so... The plan's going to be... To put a tremendously huge amount of troops here. And then... I... Guess we can maybe go with... 10 there, and then the rest up there. Alright. We have reclaimed our area. And we're going to continue our move onward, guys. For all of you who wanted to see competitive risk, you're finally getting to witness it firsthand, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, well, at this point, folks, we've taken over quite a few things. But again, they're going to have so many more troops than we are. It's going to be a little bit ridiculous. Okay, we're going to hold it there. And then I'm going to try, apparently succeed, at wiping that out. And I'm just going to try to hold the line. I hope they attack the, the black player. Though there's no guarantee of that happening. Okay, so we've taken over southern Italy at this point. And now it is time for us to fortify, I suppose. 
There it is, and that's it. So we're gonna go, and I'm pretty sure Black's gonna roll over us and we're dead at this point, but we gave it our best shot. Oh, Purple's making their big play. They've spread out a little bit. Black has come and crushed all the way back over into our territory on this end, and there's a 30 army there dropping more or less all of our stuff, but we actually held. We held quite a bit, folks. And we're about 26 minutes in. I think I'm going to break it off here, guys. I'm not going to let you guys know how this ends. But this is Lux Deluxe. It just released today on Steam. Hopefully you enjoyed this little first look and enjoyed my struggle back and forth in this Risk-esque scenario. It's a lot of fun, guys. There's a lot of different maps. I mean, like, I think there was like 10 or 12 that I saw at first glance. There might have been more. There might have been a scroll bar. I don't know. I looked a little in-depth into this game, but I only probably played about an hour before I actually hopped in. So, and it was mostly on the classic Risk board. I didn't really try out some of the new scenarios. This was the first one I gave it a shot at. So, yeah. Pretty fun game, pretty fun game. I really enjoyed it, and, well, hopefully you guys did too. If you're big Risk fans, definitely pick this up. Like I said, released today on Steam. I'll have all the information down below in the description of the video where you can pick it up. The website, the developer's website, all that wonderful fun stuff like I always do, folks. And that's going to do it for me today here at The Freak Show. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I will catch you guys next time with another first look. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later. <laughs>